Well, here in New York, RSV becoming a concern for many families. According to the state health department, the virus has become more common than COVID. Our capital correspondent Jamie DeLine has the details. New York State is seeing an increase in RSV, a respiratory virus that typically resembles the common cold. According to state health department data, RSV cases started surpassing COVID in late October. Dr. Nosa Labardi says the concern is the number of people getting it. Uh, before, it used to be mostly only kids, but now it's everyone, uh, both adults, children, and, uh, and uh, as well as um, uh, geriatric uh, patients, so everybody, nobody's immune to RSV at all. RSV can turn into pneumonia, which could be life-threatening for babies, older adults, and those with weakened immune systems. Dr. James McDonald, New York State's health commissioner, urges those who can get the vaccine to get it. One thing I'd remind my peers who are 60 and older and those who have an underlying medical condition, Look at the RSV vaccine for you. And one of the things we did in New York that's different than any other state as far as I know is we've allowed every pharmacy to have RSV vaccine. According to the commissioner, there's about 2.4 million New Yorkers who should be eligible for the vaccine, but only 10% have gotten it. The health department recommends it for those over 60 as well as those who are pregnant. We do have an RSV vaccine for babies too, the Bay Fortis, the Nersivimab. It's in short supply, uh, which is something we're... That just happened. Uh, you know, could, quite frankly, the demand was much higher uh, than the manufacturer expected, but that is what it is. So that's one of the things if you can get a baby vaccine for your baby, you know, I'd get one. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine.